think genuinely that's why I liked it. That's interesting. Um, I thought it was, I sort of hats off to them. It is a big old ride, it is long, it uh, sort of careers around a bit, but I think you just have to give them points for bravery. I love this tweet, we've had many tweets about it. Some people, like you say, very anti, and then other people who will end. Uh, this is from BT251, incredibly disjointed and confusing, way too long, but weirdly entertaining. A sort of spot the actor film. Now I need to read the book. Well, people should absolutely read the yeah. book. I mean, the book is fantastic. I mean, it's a, you know, it's spectacular, genuinely spectacular, and that's something to be you know admired. But I think at the same time, it leaves the acting with an awful lot to make up. The acting yeah. has to go very big in order to keep up, particularly when you've got thirteen actors. I think playing the whole of humanity across thousands of years. Some of the cast cope better with that than others. I think Ben Wisher and Hugh Grant are both fantastic. For example, they play husband and wife at one point, which is nice. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is clearly having a very good time, but I have to be honest and say that I'm not convinced he always knew there was a camera while they were <laughs> making this That's film. That's a good thing. And it, it's interesting as well, because the book yeah. was something where you could just take it as a series of short stories, but everything is being so frantically kind of cross-cut here that you're just an intercut, you're just settling into, you know, a story about a love-struck young composer in 1930s Cambridge when suddenly Hugo Weaving pops up as a kind of demonic tree goblin from the future. So that's... A little distracting. I quite um, like that. I'd say it was very good value for money. Absolutely. I As a night out, I know that sounds weird, but I would always say to a governor, I'd go, go, it's bonkers, but definitely go. The thing is, I have honestly never seen anything quite like Cloud Atlas before, and that's not meant to sound like a backhander. I mean, there are, there are things that I admire about yeah. it, and there are things I applaud about it. I'm just not sure that I'd want to sit next to it on the bus. <laughs> uh, now it's time for To The Wonder, Terence Malick's latest film about life and love.